So perfect competition is wonderful, but it doesn't exist everywhere. And one thing that makes it difficult sometimes to have more competitors are something that's called a barrier to entry. You know what the word barrier is, like a block. You know what entry means, to enter, like a, to start a new business. So a barrier to entry can be anything that might make it kind of tough for you to start your own business. Maybe you have to have a certain license, which for a lot of businesses, you do. So there's going to be government regulations. Maybe you have to have stainless steel appliances. Um, maybe you have to have it handicap accessible. There might be zoning laws in your city that say that you can op operate a business in this part of town, but not in this part. So there's tons and tons of legal restrictions, red tape that you got to go through. Another thing is there are startup costs. So startup costs are anything that you have to pay for before you can open up shop and start making money. So like, let's say you wanted to buy Cars Convenience, the old gas station in Verndale. Well, you don't just get to, your only startup cost isn't just buying the building. You might need new tanks. So that's going to be expensive. You need a new sign. You might um, spend some time renovating inside the building. Maybe you get new lighting, new floors, you change the bathrooms. Um, maybe you add a better kitchen. Then you have to buy product for inside your gas station. So like the pot, maybe you get new fountain machines, um, whatever it might be. Those are all your startup costs. And so that just the costs alone and all the legal restrictions, those things are all barriers to entry, things that make it a little bit tough. Another thing with competition is imperfect competition. That's what we're going to focus on this unit because imperfect competition is a market structure that doesn't meet the four conditions to perfect competition like we went over before. So one thing why we have imperfect competition is it's hard to compete with businesses that can operate on an economy of scale. So think of like a Costco or a Sam's Club. When you shop there, you can get stuff in bulk for cheaper because they're ordering such a large quantity that it's hard for like a John's Family Foods or an Ernie's or a Super One to compete with that. Or um, my house is a dynamic home. And dynamic homes, they make a whole bunch of homes in a year. And so some of the things like in my home, like let's say my wood doors are cheaper than what I could go to um, a lumber yard and buy those doors or like a Menards and buy those doors for. So an economy of scale is a factor that causes a producer's average cost per unit to fall as the output rises. And so like, let's say next year you decide to order senior class t-shirts, like the more you order, the cheaper it's going to be because those companies are operating under an economy of scale. So there's just a few more terms to explain to you. Barrier to entry and then some different types. Imperfect competition, which again, we'll be talking about imperfect competition and then an economy of scale.